So it was a very nice symposia at the beginning of this meeting which was um, supported by um, medical education um, companies and um, this was a symposia entitled The Stories Behind the Science. And um, at this meeting, um, the speakers were very esteemed um, professionals in the field. Alison Moliterno from Johns Hopkins, John Mascarenas from Mount Sinai, Serge Verstovsek from the MD Anderson Cancer Centre. And we first took a look at uh, the molecular knowledge and our understanding of the disease heterogeneity and what's happening in patients that are developing the disease. We then looked at um, treatment, how we should be treating patients, what um, constitutes a patient where a physician should, or a patient themselves, should have an alarm bell ringing, what's unstable or aggressive disease. And then we had a look at the latest data with regards to the different treatments, so hydroxycarbamide or hydroxyurea, interferon and ruxolitinib, and then looking beyond that to other therapies as well. And each speaker gave also a personal view. So for Alison, it was looking at the Hopkins 600 patients, what they've described in terms of demographics, this interesting distribution and gender difference between the diseases, and also a deep dive into the molecular aspects and what they've used at a molecular level to pick out more aggressive disease. For John Mascarenas, it was the MPDRC Research Consortium and delivering the 112 trial, which is presented at this meeting, at least an in interim analysis, which is a really critically important study assessing the difference between hydroxyurea and pegylated interferon for newly diagnosed ET and PV patients. And for Serge Verstovsek, it was also the patient's perspective in terms of um, the benefits that patients have had in terms of being exposed to novel therapies. For myself, I would say that this year has been a bit of a difficult year and a bit of a sad year in terms of um, the loss of a dear colleague, David Grimwage, whose role in terms of promyelocytic leukemia, describing the PML RARA mutation and then going on dissecting acute myeloid leukemia, looking at targeted therapies and monitoring minimal residual disease was the, the thing that I was reflecting to the audience. And then looking back at the timeline for PV, how things have changed <clears throat> since its first description by Vaquez or Osler, depending on you, if you're a European, you'll say Vaquez. If you're an American, you might say Osler and uh, how the acceleration has happened, but how David was always challenging me as a doctor in the MPN field to achieve what has been achieved in AML.